Hey guys, um, I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> um, I was just thinking about like wrapping my arm lately and how cool he was. I just watched a movie with him in it recently. It was about, it was called The Final Cut. I did my nails, yay. Um, it was called The Final Cut and it was a dramatic film of his and I had never seen it before and I thought I'd try it see if I liked it or not and it was actually pretty good it was pretty interesting it was so eerie seeing it with him gone and like it just I, I just love Robin Williams he was like one of my favorite comedians <clears throat> when he died I was like shocked I was like really super sad because I know he had depression and I think he talked about it in an interview and I have it too so he was like one of those um, like success stories that I like looked up to, and I wanted to talk about the time I got to perform comedy in person. It was really cool. He came to Illinois, um, and I was like about fourteen or fifteen at the time. Um, I had I was thinking about him a lot recently because after the night he had died. And he kind of gave me another reason to go on, though that got kind of morbid, but it was true. So, um, and I really admired his energy, his sense of humor. I usually prefer male comedians over female comedians, I think. Um, because they're more, I don't know, like for me, it's like, because I don't, I don't think of myself as really girly. So I guess I definitely like male comedians over female comedians. But I, I do think females can be fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to, like, I think you have to have, like, a natural talent for it. And then you also have to, like, practice, like, repeatedly to, like, hone it. Um, I was, like, 14 or 15 at the time. And I prayed to God about something. What was it? I forget what I, I wrote a letter to God. That sounds kind of lame, but it's true. And I was, like, talking about how sad I was. And I needed something to cheer me up and please help me and then I learned one of my aunts randomly called me a few days later or like a week later and told me hey like Rob Williams is going is coming to Illinois and I was like what like is there like a special event what, what do you mean like no one goes to Illinois of their own like volition you know what I mean um and she's like and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, we should go, like, because, like, I never got to see him perform a comedy in person. So then I ended up going with, I think, my mom and one of my guy friends at the time. And we went, and I was, like, so excited. And I was, like, spent so, so much time getting ready for my outfit. I wanted to look cute. <laughs> because, like, I kind of had a crush on him at the time. And I kind of, I tend to like those creative types, like comedians or artists or, um, you know, or like just musicians, you know what I mean? The creative types. So, so I was like trying to pick out a perfect outfit, you know, and then I ended up getting there and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. But I was like, why am I so nervous? You know? So I get there. I am, um, we get there, we get there early. We're not late. And he comes out and I think this is after his heart surgery. And you could tell when he was performing on stage that he was, he was, like, watching what he was saying, like, more. Like, he was more, kind of, like, not insecure, I don't want to say, but, like, more self-aware. Because I looked in the audience, and there was, like, a lot of kind of, like, kids look, looking like they're kind of around my age in the audience. And, like, I was so thrilled. I don't remember any of his jokes. I don't remember any of his jokes or what he was, like, talking about, like, at all. And I noticed he didn't really say any of his jokes. I think it was because the younger kids were there, and he didn't want to, like make them feel uncomfortable. And I really like that about Robin Williams. He could make you feel comfortable with just him being himself. And I think he was one of a kind and they'll never really like him out there. And I've never seen the birdcage, but I heard it was really good. It was about gay guys. He played a gay guy. And I think that's cool when it's because I think Robin Williams was one of like the best actors I think we've ever had. Because he could he could play like dramatic roles. He could play like comedy roles. Mrs. Doubtfire is like one of my favorite movies. And I don't know why the sound was being weird in my last video. Um, so, yeah, that was weird. I hope this one works, though. Um, so, yeah, I was just thinking about Rob, Robin Williams. And 
And it was just, it was like, I think it might have been like an hour long, maybe, or like a half hour long. I don't remember the exact time or what day it was. Um, I don't even remember what I was wearing. And I wish he would have taken, I don't think comedians take autographs after shows, do they? Because I don't think he had, he took autographs or anything. But you could tell he was like, he wasn't as lively though. And I was kind of disappointed, to be honest. And I was kind of disappointed he wasn't that lively. But like I said, it was right after a car surgery. So I don't think he wanted to be too animated. You know what I mean? He don't want to like aggravate his heart more. So yeah, but I was just thrilled to go because not a lot of people, I think I read something online that Kevin James came to Illinois. This is before COVID, and I wish I would have gone to see Kevin James. Because I actually like him, too. I think he's a swell guy. You know, he's, like, very down-to-earth, like Robin Williams was. He seems like his persona is, anyway. And, like, I wish I would have gone to see Kevin James, because I think he was going to be at the Rialto Theater or something in Illinois. So, but anyway, so, Robin Williams. I grew up, like, watching Flubber and, like, watching his movies. And Jumanji, Jumanji was really good. Um... And Robin Williams just, like, and he was an only child, too, like me. So I felt kind of connected to him. I always feel like a connection to only children because it can be lonely sometimes. And I think that's why we like being a center of attention. Because um, we don't have siblings and we just like to, like, you know what I mean? We just like attention, you know? And there's nothing necessarily bad about that, um, necessarily. Like, I don't think there's anything bad as long as you're getting positive attention. Anyway, so I never really had seen a comedian perform stand-up before. I'd never gone to comedy clubs before I saw him perform in person. But it was, like, an experience all, like, I don't remember. I think there was a quote. It's like, you don't, won't remember what someone says to you, but you'll remember how you make them feel. And I think that was really, that's what I, that's about how I feel about Robin Williams. Like, when I went to his show, I was, like, just, like, amazed to be there. Like, I felt honored to be there. Like, it was, like, one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Me. and it was just being in the audience <laughs> but it was great like it was really fun I had a lot of fun I had a lot of fun I laughed a few times you could tell yeah you could tell he was like being kind of more self-aware he didn't want to say like his dirtier jokes or anything in front of the kids which I which I think that was really cool and I admired because some comedians I don't think they would be like self um too self-aware themselves to do that I mean, not that I'm not, I'm not bashing or insulting all comedians. I'm just saying, like, what I think. Because, like, some comedians have that, like, more, like, they have, like, a dirtier sense of humor. And then some of them have, like, a lighter sense of humor. Like, lighter, less dirtier sense of humor. And I think Robin had, like, a lighter sense of humor. But it was funny. He made it work. And, yeah, and I even have his DVD live on Broadway. It's one of my favorite DVDs. Um, he's just, he was just really great, wasn't he? Oh, my God. I was just shocked when he died. Like, I was so sad. Um, and I think more comedians need to come to the Midwest. Be not during COVID stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's just so, like, yeah. Like, it sucks right now, I know. But, like, it'll get better, hopefully. And, yeah, I was just missing Robin Williams recently. But the amazing thing is he had his movies left that we can, like, remember him by. And I probably won't have any kids, but, like, like I said, like, he'll probably be one of those people I tell my kids about, like, if I ever do have kids, which I probably won't. Um, I kind of view, like, my, my, well, I kind of do, I have a cat. Um, she's kind of like my daughter, actually. She's cool. Um, right now she's just looking out the window being kind of lame, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I was just thinking about Robin Williams. I need to get out more, <laughs> but unfortunately I can't because the COVID thing. So that kind of sucks. Um, I'm trying to think what else I remember from the day. It was like an hour away, so like it was really like it was really good. It was really like cool how that happened. Like it wasn't like five hours away. I didn't have to drive like five hours just to see Robin Williams. It was like like an hour away, so it wasn't bad like on gas and stuff. So, but like yeah, I'll always remember that, and I'm trying to be aware of my time because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, and I think it was cool that even in his older, his older years, can I say that? Or is that, I don't mean to be rude or anything. I'm just being honest. In his older years, he still kind of performed stand up. I think that's really cool. I think Eddie Murphy is kind of cool too. <laughs> I think he's, I think he's a great actor too. One of the best actors too. I think I, I saw Coming to America when I was younger. 
Um, and I really liked, I just really like Eddie Murphy, like as just Eddie Murphy. You know, some people just have that thing. They just have that it. Like Clara Bow. I have, I have her biography. I was um, reading it recently. I read it before, but I'll read it again. She came up from a really sad upbringing and she made something of herself. And I think she might have been an only child like me too. I think her story is inspirational too, like Robin Williams. And if you like older Hollywood and all that, like I do kind of, you'll like Clara Bow, I think, because like hers is like a really a success story too. Or so they say anyway. Um, Because when you're younger, you're kind of like immature and you believe things you hear, but then you get older and you realize you have to trust everyone kind of thing. So yeah, Clara Bow and Robin Williams. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a combination, huh? Anyways. Yeah, so I was just, yeah, I'm just going off on, on what I remember. Um, yeah, I don't think his jokes were too dirty. I didn't have, like I said, I think it was because he was around the audience. And I think it wasn't like all the jokes. Not everyone would do that. I don't know if I would if I was a comedian. Um, yeah, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of female comedians like Kathy Griffin. I don't really like her that much. But I, I do have respect for comedians easy to get up there and perform in front of people you don't know because they're strangers you know and you don't want to say the wrong thing you know or offend someone but um again I think I think comedians are a blessing because they 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 bring the joy to life and they remind us how beautiful life is and how we should not take it too seriously and have fun and relax and laugh you know and I try to laugh every day now because laughter is important in life and Fun, being funny is important, and I'm trying to work on my sense of humor, too. Um, yeah, I don't know why I added that in there. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Eliza Schlesinger, I think she's okay, but I haven't really seen too much of her things. I kind of like, what's his name, Joe Rogan. I don't know why some people call him Toe Rogan, unless it was a typo, because I saw like a YouTube comment that said Toe Rogan. And I was like, why is the way you even call you that? It doesn't make any sense. It just rhymes with his name. Like, I could I could call him, like, anything. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think he's really cool, though. Uh, I, I wouldn't, like, make fun of him or anything if I saw him or didn't see him in person. Joe Rogan's okay. I think he's a comedian. Um, he's bald, like Steve Wilkos. Um, and I don't know why I added that either. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, Joe Rogan, Rob Williams, and Clara Bow. Um, Joe Rogan, I, I listen to his podcast sometimes, and it seems like nowadays everyone has a podcast. What's up with that? Like, seriously, like, stop giving everyone, anyone a show and a podcast. I'm not saying everyone who has a podcast or bad at podcasts because they haven't seen every podcast, but I'm just saying, like, it's annoying. Like, Lily saying, like, I hope she gets funnier or they get rid of her show, honestly, at this point. Because, like, I want, like... We have to be strong, like, as women, and stop tearing each other down. And I, I know it's hard to, I mean, it's weird to say, like, in the same sentences, that, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, like, I wish she was just funnier and make it easier for me not to tear her down. You know what I'm saying? Like, because as a woman, like, I really want women to succeed in life, like, above their own merit, like, in business and everything, and what they want to do. I'm, like, not a feminist, because nowadays being a feminist is, like, Women should have more things than men, but it's like, no, we should be kind of equal, but don't send me off to the military kind of thing because I won't be able to fight. <laughs> I'm not a fighter. I'm kind of a lover. Like, I want everyone to get along, and I don't like really drama. That's why I probably want to have drama things on my channel in the future. I don't want to make this video too long because you'll probably be bored by now. But yeah. Yeah, Robin Williams. Um, What's your favorite Robin Williams movie? I think I mentioned him before in a video, but I never got one into detail about it. Um, he's like one of the first comedians I ever saw perform, and I don't know if he'll be the last. Because there, I think there's a comedy club actually not too far away from my house. I could go to sometime when COVID's over and see and like watch and see how people perform and stuff. Because um, I really like admire comedians. I think they're great. And why am I talking with my hands like this? I'm not Italian. <laughs> so yeah. But I do like Italians. They make good food. So yeah, um, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, uh, let's see what else. Robin Williams, yeah, I I'm like I was like was super like one of his like fans. Like I thought he was awesome, and he's super nice too. I read an article that he actually gave like a homeless people like jobs in a movie or something as extras, and I think that's really cool. And not everyone would do that. 
And I think kindness is something we could all dance to. And that sounds, that was, like, that was kind of lame, wasn't it? <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it, the words speak for themselves at some point. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll always remember him. And it was a great day. And, like, I, would, I just was so happy the entire time I was there. And I did not regret going at all. Like, it was great. And, yeah, and I admired his confidence, too. He was really cool. So, yeah, Robin Williams. Um, I wish I could say more about him, but I really, really don't. I'm not, like, an expert on Robin Williams. I'm just, like, a big fan of his. And I just, like, it was just well done. It was a well done show. I had a lot of fun. I laughed sometimes. And I don't really... <coughs> he didn't get too controversial or anything. Dude, funny. And I, I liked that about him, too. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video.